Today I'm going to show you how I made this fisheye text effect here in Adobe Dimension. Okay, so let's start with the text. Click on it and here you can rename it. I'm going to go with letter by letter. So I'm going to start with the letter P from Panther. And down here you can change up the font. I went with mango, extra bold. Now we're going to press and hold shift and click on this little circle to rotate. And we're going to rotate it 90 degree angles and bring it up all the way. And we're going to search down here for the depth and it's gonna increase the extrusion. I'm gonna go all the way down, press the number one to rotate, and I'm gonna press Control C, Control V, create a new copy, rename, and so on and so forth. Now I'm gonna reposition them a little bit and also rotate. You can rotate with these circles, the X, Y, Z rotation, and just reposition. I'm also gonna click on the background, select the background color, I'm gonna go with black, now I'm gonna rotate it and I'm gonna position something like this. I also wanna bring some of these down or up. So for example, I'm gonna select this text and you can pull this blue arrow to bring it down and recustomize it something like this to look even cooler. Great. Now I'm gonna recolor them. I'm gonna select the letter P and we're gonna click on the select material. So here you can see you can switch up the side, the face, the bevel and the back color. I'm gonna start with the face, so I know exactly how the top part is gonna look like. So let's go to the color here and just change it up. I'm gonna go with some pastel colors. For example, I'm gonna select the sides now and I'm gonna do the same thing. And as you can see down here, it remembered the color and I'm gonna select it and there you go. And switch up the rest as well. Now it's gonna look something like this. You also can activate the ray tracing to see how it's gonna render it realistically. I think it looks pretty nice. I'm gonna deactivate the ray tracing now. Press the number one, rotate it position it something like this. From here, we're gonna add the sphere. Let's select the sphere and bring it right above the text. And I'm gonna press the number one, rotate it, zoom out, and I'm gonna bring the sphere right above the text. And I'm gonna go with something like this. I'm also gonna scale down the sphere from this little rectangle and I'm gonna rotate it from the top. I'm gonna zoom in and now I'm gonna go to the models collapse and here we got the materials and this is the glass drag and drop on the, on the sphere and I'm gonna scroll to zoom in, activate the ray tracing. Let's see what we got and it's gonna show it from upside down and also you can see that it's pretty wide this whole sphere. So what you can do is I'm gonna rotate this how it was and I'm gonna bring the whole composition. I'm gonna select everything and bring it down a little bit more like this maybe. So it's gonna be more far away from the lights, hopefully. So I'm gonna zoom in again, activate the ray tracing. Let's see what happens. Great, now it's better. And not but least, we're gonna to need to rotate this because right now it looks kind of off. So let's select the camera. And here we got the Y. So you're gonna to need to type in here 180 degree angle. So it's gonna flip it upside down. Let's activate the ray tracing. And this way is gonna show it correctly. If you wanna customize the reflection, you can select the sphere. And let's go to the materials here. Scroll down. Here we got the translucence. Open it up. You can customize the index of refraction. So you can increase it or decrease it. And check that out. It's gonna magnify it even more. I think I'm gonna leave it like this. And pretty much this is how you make text with a fisheye lens here in Adobe Dimension. Thanks for watching.